Good evening, everybody. Thank you for listening to us tonight. Tonight is going to be very, very special because we have a message is going to be coming to you, especially from our Lord. <clears throat> he has requested that he has time to speak to you tonight, and we are going to bring you that message. Hello, everyone. Sorry we've been gone so long. We've missed you, but we had a few hurdles to get over once we got home. But we're getting them over them. We might have one or two left. But anyway, we're excited not only to be back with you on Facebook, but also because the end, towards the end of September, we'll be having our own radio show. So we'll be looking forward to that. And with that, I will turn things back over to Barry. Yeah, we're quite excited about this radio show thing. <clears throat> it's, we're going to be doing it on the Parax Network. That is where Marla Brooks and several of the other people we've done interviews for are they're going to be a big help for a uh, big help for us and the name of the show is going to be channeling history so we're going to be channeling spirits famous spirits during the show and we are going to allow the listeners in the chat room to ask the questions of the spirits so it's a kind of unique concept I think that everybody is going to enjoy it and we are certainly looking forward to it. We're hoping that by the third or fourth week of September, we can have it all put together. So I see that we have got quite a few people joining us to listen tonight. So without any further delay, let me bring you the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, everybody. I have requested to speak to you tonight because as we watch from over here, we see that you are undergoing some very, very grave times. At this time, Satan is showing his true strength and has come forward to influence many that are trying to undermine your country are trying to have you not believe in me and are trying to overrun the political philosophies that I instilled in your founding fathers. Your country has indeed gone through troubled times in the past perhaps none more, tra more troubling than your civil war when the states attempted to break free from the Union. It took much bloodshed to avoid the cataclysmic event of separation of your country. At the present time, there are forces that are trying to downplay the role of the police and law enforcement. It is very important that people continue to serve in those, in those roles in order to protect the weak and the unprotected. Those that are trying to eliminate the police are attempting to form a basis that will lead to anarchy and the eventual violent clashes between the different groups that live in your wonderful country. Know that these forces are extremely powerful. They have been planning for years how to come forward and destroy the faith that people have in your government. Once they destroy that faith, it will be possible to destroy your country. All of you need 
to step back, open your minds, and think of my words and my preachings. When I walked the earth, I talked of love. I talked of love of God, love of yourself, and love for one another. Without that love, your future evolution is definitely in question. Bear in mind that all of the great civilizations of the world have eventually failed. The free will and ego of the leaders of those cultures have failed to comprehend the true words that I speak. Know now that it is a time for action. Each of you must spread the love that you feel for me. You must spread that love to others. You must show others that a godless life will lead to failure, it will lead to sadness, and it will lead to you not advancing in my realms when you return home, as all of you certainly will. Tonight, I think that many of you are feeling great frustration. What I want all of you to do is pray to me tonight. Ask me for guidance. Tell me how much you love God. We will try to answer all of your prayers. Many prayers cannot be answered because they affect life plans and they affect futures that are already preordained. But I can assure you that you can ask me for leadership and advice and I will tell you how to get through these troubled times. You may feel free to pray to all of my close servants, saints, archangels. They will all come together to help lead you in these troubled times. All of you know right from wrong. You know that violence is wrong. You know that those that preach violence or condone it is wrong. You all know that the killing of the child in the womb is wrong, just as those who create the act or condone the act are wrong as well. And there is no way they can rationalize that they are following my teachings. Abortion in any form is contrary to my preaching. It cannot be rationalized. It cannot be told in any manner that is correct. And there is no way that those who perform abortions will advance in the realms and they will indeed be sent to a lower level where they will contemplate what they have done. They will make up what they have done to the lives they have taken and their karma will surely not be anything that anyone would ever want to contemplate. For now, what you must do is look to your leadership. Understand those that are speaking the truth and understand those that are not. Many of you are being lied to. There's much fear among many 
in your country. Those that are evil have attempted to use fear to control. If you study history, you will find that fear is a major component to controlling the masses. If you believe in me, you should have no fear. Only fear should come to those who do not believe and to those that preach contrary to my teachings. I have given you teachings that will lead you into the future. A simple practice of love is all that is fully required. Obviously, you must care for others. You must do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You must preach my, you must speak my words. And you must lead others. This is a time that if you sit back and fail to lead others to my teachings, that there will be a great time of despair in your country. It is only the love for me that can lead you through this time and can assure the longevity of the evolution of your country. My main message to you tonight is that you must not fear. If you have the love for me in your heart, you will truly realize that your fate is assured. When you return home to the realms, you will be welcomed and you will have shown that you have truly learned your lesson. You will be able from the other side to look at those that have failed to learn their lessons and have been sent back to lower levels where hopefully they can learn their lessons in the future. I am the God of all, be it black, white, any color, any race, any creed, any nationality, and any other characteristic that differs a person from yourself. Love everyone. You will find when you return home that love is everywhere. There is no evil over here. Heaven, you will find, is a place of reward for how you have conceived yourselves in my image. So know, yes, the troubled, there are, these are troubled times. Know that I am with you. Know that you will receive guidance. And know that I expect of you to assume leadership and lead others to the truth of my love and existence. So that is my message that I've had for you tonight. Know that I bless all of you that have, are listening and I bless all of you that from this day will take a more active role in spreading my words of love and faith. I will bring more messages to you through Barry and Connie. But there are those among you that I expect to learn to communicate with me as well. I have instructed Barry and Connie how to proceed. Those of you who will have the ability to speak with me must use that ability. So with that, 
I'm going to say good night. I bless you. I promise you my love. I promise you a heaven where all will be well and where love will abound. So with those words, I'm going to say good night. Thank you, Lord. That was really powerful. Yeah, yeah tell me about it. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for listening. Uh, i got to catch my breath here a bit myself. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, we will be much more active than we have been. I think we've got our problems solved. Um, Lord is watching over us as well as he will watch over you. So with that, I'm going to say good night. God bless all of you. And please, please follow his words. Good night. Good night. God bless. <laughs>